In the previous videos, we had a look at the arithmetic sequence, which is a type of sequence where the difference between two numbers is the same. Now we're moving on to another type of sequence that we have to know, and that's the geometric sequence. A geometric sequence is a type of pattern where you have to multiply by a certain number to get from one number to the next. So for example, to get from three to six, you could say, oh, well, that's just plus three, which is true. But then if you keep plusing three, you're not going to be able to complete the rest of the sequence. So the other alternative is that we multiply by two. Ah, and that seems to work as we go along. 12 times two is 24, and 24 times two is 48. So we're multiplying by two. Okay, so as with the arithmetic sequence, there has to be some type of formula that helps us to be able to work out any other term or find out the position of certain terms. And that formula is available and it goes like this. So A that we see in the front, that's going to be the same as the arithmetic. So that's going to stand for the first term. N over here, that's just going to be the position again. TN is going to stand for the value. And then the new letter that we get in this formula is R, which stands for the ratio. In the arithmetic sequence, that letter was a D for difference. Now it's a ratio because we're multiplying by a particular ratio. So for example, let's say we're looking at this term over here. Let's say we didn't know that it was 48, but we do know that it's at position number one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's see how the formula would work. 5. So A would be equal to 3. Then R, R is your ratio. So it's how much do you multiply with? Well, you're multiplying with 2 each time. N is the position. Well, we're looking for position number 5, like that. Now, the most common mistake I see, and a lot of people have done this, is they take these two numbers and they say, oh, well, that's 6, of course. But that's not true. Because of the fact that that 2 has exponents over there, you can't do that. So my advice is just to type it in on the calculator as you see it, and that's going to give you a value of 48. And so there we have it. Term 5 is 48. Now let's use the formula in reverse. Let's say we know that a particular term has a value of 12. What position is it at? So we say 12 equals, now A is 3. The R value, we said that that was 2, but we have no idea what position it is at. So we just leave the position as N. So how do we solve this? Well, the best way would just be to divide by 3 on both sides. So we end up with 4 equals to 2 to the power of N minus 1. Then 4 is the same as 2 to the power of 2 like that. And then if you remember exponential equations from previous grades, you would know that we can now ignore the twos. And so we just end up with two equals to n minus one. Solving for n, you end up with three. So that tells us that 12, the number 12, takes place at position number three. And we can see that that is true. One, two, three. So here we have a new formula, the geometric sequence with its own formula.